<laughs> Looking a bit windswept. <laughs> Wobbly, isn't it? What's that all about? What? Great start, we've only been going two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, we have just started our cruise for the day. What's today's date? 13th, 14th? 14th of March. Yep. So we're leaving Hot Ross where we left you last week. Just gone past the Taymorter pub and the Red Lion pub and we're on our way. So let's see how this develops. The sun has just come out even though it wasn't forecast. But we're not going to complain about that one. Are we, Ernie? No. Not complaining, are we, Ernie? No. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> um, not sure what we're going to do here. What Paul's going to do. He's going really fast. Okay. He's going really fast. He's going to try and get round there, but he's going It is a contact sport after all. <laughs> Nowhere to go, was it? <laughs> Language, Timothy. Sorry. Yeah. He wasn't too happy. You might have heard there. I don't know how editing I'm going to do here, but Paul said, "Oh, it's a contact sport after all." Not that we we literally. I've just completely touched. stopped. To be honest, I think he touched us rather than he us did. him. He did. I had. And he turned around and was like, "No, it ain't." Uh, how about you slow down as you go through that bridge? You saw how fast he was coming through that bridge. I had completely stopped at that point. So. And there wasn't a big enough gap for him to go through. So what's he do? He tries to squeeze in yeah. and push our slow... boat, our front round, didn't he? Against, I don't know what he against did, against the other he one. weren't happy. Yeah. So I said to him jokingly, well, it is a contact sport after all. Said, no, it ain't. No, it ain't, mate. And I think I've got something under my weed axe or on my weed axe or wherever it is. Probably, because there was a lot of weeds yeah. to be pulled over. So, oh, no, great start. We've only been going two minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the sun's gone in. Look at that. And there's the red flag of Whittington firing ranges that you saw at the end of last week's video. As you can see it's flying today so they are shooting and the gates are shut we read didn't we we read um on the timings they're shooting all day today until half five but they usually keep the gates shut an hour before and after the shoot when we looked back at what time the video was done their shoot finished at 3 30 and we were in the woods by 3 55 so not an hour after. after. <laughs> so, it wasn't an hour, was it? <laughs> it definitely wasn't an hour. So yeah. the two bangs that we heard it was probably like they little were. Johnny going, oh, I've got a couple of bullets yeah, left, I've got, okay, I've got a couple left. Let's, <laughs> let's offload these. <laughs> yeah. Obviously there is no, what they call landing, so no mooring yeah. any time here. Yeah. Um, at all, yeah. you can't, you can't, here. Not that you'd want to, hey Ernie. Can you hear the gunshot sounds? I can't hear any, but he might be able to. Can't hear any at the moment. And that down there is the River Thames. Looking very muddy. Do you reckon that rock's used as a, like a sort of, a like everyone, whoever gets there first, has a few beers without getting shot, obviously. I'm assuming they must do some sort of, like a paintball type thing as well, do they? Scenarios, you mean? A yeah, bit like, right, you're training. the one that, yeah. yeah. you've got to get there. Well, there's a rope it's... swing hanging there, so they're obviously having a right laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it must be something like that that they do. <laughs> 
It's a lovely woods though, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. At least it'll never be built on, eh? Well, yeah. you hope not. They're building on everything else. Ah, oh, it's the old scenario, isn't it? My point proven from it's, last week. Yeah, Look, one the female, gooseberry. two males. And the That's gooseberry. the gooseberry. Yeah, There's the Paul. Gooseberry. Oh, you're funny, isn't you? <laughs> Second bridge of the day and second boat met at bridge of the day. Let's hope this one's a little bit more jolly than the other one. break, tea break, but um, I think Paul likes it, I think he's going to want to stay here. <laughs> We've only gone about two minutes. Boy. Help me Burns. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Morning. Get out my way. I want to stay. I don't know why you keep steering this that dramatically. Get out of the way. It's a hairpin tail. Anyway, morning again. Morning. Yeah. We're just moving on from that morning. We did stay there just for one night. The e internet was shocking. Nice um, and quiet, though, wasn't it? Really quiet, yeah. except the firing ranges, but well, that all stopped at half five. So just and, moving on today. Yeah. See where we get to. So come with us. Yes, please do.
Mummy's back in charge and... <laughs> Looking a bit windswept. <laughs> got hiccups actually so you probably hear them on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to just double check this size wise? Because I've <coughs> cut one end off which is obviously going to be like the return like so yeah so obviously I was thinking about cutting the other the other end off, which will make the other leg. I just want to check that you're happy that that's enough to stand on if I do that. So, size-wise... I can't see the line. Oh, there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's all right. It's enough, isn't it? Well... Oh. Ah! Well, you don't do that, do you, obviously? Yeah, it's so OK. So, you think size-wise? Yeah. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'll cut that off there. Right, you've seen agreement here from the boss. You guys. haven't given me my height yet, though. I don't know. The height is there. Yeah, I know, but I don't know what that looks like over oh, here. Oh, that'll feel fine. <laughs> oh, it feels like the old days. <laughs> so that'd be a lovely afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, typically. We cruise in the, in the morning. Hey? I said, typically, we cruise in the morning yeah. in wind and spitting, and we literally warm up, the sun comes out, the wind stops. <laughs> but it's quite a nice morning, I think. It'll be all right yeah. here for a day or two or whatever. Right, OK. You think this is the first carpentry I've actually done since last ever. July? Oh, yeah. What do you mean, ever? <laughs> since first, last July, yeah. First carpentry since July. He's got lots on his list this this July. Duck hatch needs sorting. I've got a really smart idea, haven't I, with the duck hatches that I want yeah, yeah, to happen. Yeah. Almost like a living wall, but an yeah. artificial. Might have to call someone in to help with that, really. <laughs> Depends how I feel after this. Yes, so my friends and that and my family have been saying, do you miss it? And uh, <laughs> does this face look like a face at Mrs. Carpentry? <laughs> and joinery? No, I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. And a lot of people are really surprised by that, but I don't miss it. I just don't. Very good. Very good fixings. Was he still supervising her name? Rubbish! Well, what do you think then, what? Bloody hell. <laughs> High, isn't uh, it? It's probably... It's a bit wobbly, isn't it? What it <laughs> What's that all about? What, the wobble? It's because that board... Uh, is it's the, a bit too high. You don't know yet, because it's, it's the canvas that's putting you off. No, it's... No, it's not. It ain't worth doing otherwise, surely. It's just not worth it otherwise, isn't it? It needs to be about that much shorter. Mm. Just literally so you're there. It does, it's a little bit too high. Yeah, but I honestly think, before I cut any off, we'll actually give it a go properly, won't we? During travelling night. Alright. Alright, thanks. Brownie points. Oi, brownie points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well pleased with our first service uh, by the RCR. Um, a guy called Kane come out. We've met Kane before in a... Uh, you, you might have seen him in a previous vlog that we did uh, when we had a little breakdown and our sort of dipstick uh, episode. Yeah. In uh, Stoke Goulding with, that with was, wasn't it? With the lack of oil, oil in the uh, gearbox chamber. 
But uh, yeah, so it was nice to see the same guy again, um, and he was so helpful. Uh, I had my doubts whether or not to pay the money for the service. Uh, thought I should do it myself, you know. But to be honest, it was two hundred and sixteen pound, and for that we got free. Sorry, Ernie. Ernie, do you mind? I'm doing this. <laughs> we got three new filters, so it was two diesel filters like fuel filters and the main oil filter um, he checked everything over like really thorough he was all over the engine um, and one of my main concerns that made me kind of go with a professional service for the first one was how to bleed the system fuel wise so we didn't get any airlocks and he showed us about three different methods of how to do that which I wouldn't have known how to do so it's, it was excellent we recorded you know quite a lot of it we won't see the footage necessarily but um absolutely perfect so we've got a reference to go back to so yeah so really well spent and it's it's lovely did he show you where all your dipsticks are then yeah i yeah. know yeah, yeah i know where all my dipsticks yeah. are and that yeah you're funny, <laughs> yeah. but yeah no thoroughly thoroughly worth the money to be honest yeah really pleased with it big thumbs up to the rcr thank you the colour of your chest from 45 minutes sitting on the stern deck I know, that was yesterday. yesterday afternoon that's incredible <laughs> look you're gonna burn up this summer girl you're gonna burn up anyway you've got something to say haven't you yeah sorry um just a quick one to one of our watchers out there because she contacted us um quite a while back um saying that when we're in this area to give her a shout she wanted to take us into the plough um i did try and contact eugene 
um, via YouTube. Um, I don't have any other means, so and I didn't want to put your yeah, um, my number out on YouTube. So, um, but sadly we have missed you. It looks like this time round because we'll be leaving here in a couple of days. So, but we might be back another time and hopefully catch up with you then. So, it looks like CRT are finally sorting out this sunken boat. I don't know how long it's been there for. But, they're sink taking all the water out. By the looks of things, trying to get it afloat or whatever they're doing. So yeah, just spoke to the lads and now it goes off to do the scrap dealer. The guy in the black outfit is actually surveyor for the valuation of it um, as scrap metal. So he has to phone his supervisor and see what the see if she agrees to the scrap value. That's how it works. Drifting along now. Basically, an hour and a half ago, that was stuck on the bottom of the canal. This is impressive, very impressive. Very impressive. Amazing. Off it goes to the scrapyard. Bit of a sad ending. Do you mind me videoing? No, I'm by Thank you, mate. <laughs> Cheers. It's not a pretty picture. <laughs> <laughs> and off she goes. Amazing. Look at little Ernie. Hello little Ernie. Keeping an eye on your dad are you? <laughs> Keeping an eye on your dad? Do I have to um, check that nothing can sink below the surface in that now then? No, that's it. It's, it's just the boat, yeah. Alright? Yeah, so it actually sunk. Yeah, so it actually sunk. Um, last November so November 23 um, no one on board no one on board at the time um, yeah so what's that five four yeah four or five months to uh, recover it I suppose yeah sad. yeah very sad but there you go the guys did a wonderful job though do you reckon they're going to sell that then no it's going to the scrap dealer oh is it yeah definitely Definitely scrap. Right, it leaves us to say goodbye for this week. Yeah, another week done and dusted. Yeah. What do you reckon, Ernie? Anything to say? Yep. Come on in, mate. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, leave your comments. Um, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> oh, You're getting a bit Ernie. heavy for this, Bernice. You're getting a bit heavy. <laughs> See you Thanks guys. guys. Bye. See you next week. Bye.